if they haven't seen how they go off duty, when they go on duty not driving, when they're fueling, because I've broken it down into piece by piece, bit by bit. They've already learned about hours of service, how many logs go to them, how many hours a day they can drive, when they can drive, how much rest they have to have, how much free time they can have, whether they can split it or not. They've already learned all those rules. Today was a log keeping exercise. I gave them a blank story and they needed to figure out what status they were in, how long they were driving, how long they were off duty, how long they slept. Repetition is the mother of learning. The more you do it, the better you're gonna become at it. Look at how nice that is, right? First shot, superstar. This girl's like been right off the rip, right? She wants this more than anything. Boom, 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 adds up to 24, butte to Glasgow. I couldn't ask for anything more. First shot, give me some of that. Just wanna see what kind of students are coming out of here. Look at this. That's putting work in, right? That's what it takes to succeed. Got awesome. Got that in the lunch. Who's got questions? So this is a logging sheet. The log book. We replicate right from a regular log book. Got four duty statuses. Off duty, sleep of birth, driving, and on duty not driving. The on duty not driving, that's gonna cover your loading, your unloading, your fuel. It bases it on a 24 hour clock. Always has to come out to 24 because there's only 24 hours in a day. Their company is not gonna teach them how to do it. They're going to expect that they were taught at truck driving school. I can tell you at 3.25, that's not correct. Each line is 25 cents. Don't even look at it as 15 minutes. Just say each line is 25 yeah, cents. Yeah, that's how I was doing this. This gets into a lot of the rules, the regulations, the timekeeping, the hour if you break it apart from time to money. Right, 30 minutes is 50 cents, 15 minutes is 25 cents. That's how you get the numbers to come out right. Your four status is off duty, it's your time. Sleep or birth, it's committed time to behind the counter. Driving time, you're on duty not driving. Your first week at Fleet Force Truck Driving School, I lay a foundation for the rest of your trucking career. So you're gonna get 40 hours of classroom training. You'll then get track and road time. Every student goes through the same process, any pre-hire. So when a public student comes in, we go over the ELDT, we learn about mapping, we learn about logging, we learn about timekeeping. We learn about how the truck moves itself, backwards and forwards. How important it is to be able to watch your mirrors. How important it is to know how tall your trailer is. How important it is to know how long your vehicle is. And the amount of time you can drive, the amount of time you need to rest and the amount of time you can have free time. Once you finish the classroom aspect, you will then move out to the track where you will start to learn about the pre-trip and start to learn about how to maneuver that truck and control that trailer. What lane we in? What lane we in? And left, right? Complex mirror on the right, right? We're going to cover the tone up with what? Trailer, right? Here we go. Once we do, we're going to stop. We're going to put straight. You can see down both sides of the trailer. Hello everybody, my name is Tanaciano Galindo. I've been working with Publix. My main uh, warehouse was uh, LV, and I've been a force selector for the past 10 years. I'm Amari Houghton. I've been working with Publix for eight years. I've seen an opportunity to uh, learn how to drive trucks, and Publix has uh, sent me out here with Fleet Force. Hi, my name is Elvis Galindo. I've been working with Publix for 10 years as an order selector, and I've heard a lot of great things from my ex-coworkers that used to work with me about trucking, so I decided uh, to take this opportunity that Publix gave me. I got buddies that have been uh, trying driving, and I always hear good things about it. Number one was financial gain. Number two, the respect that you get with, with, that comes with driving trucks. I had no experience never even thought of doing it. You know, all the stuff I heard about it, especially financially, and I was, you know, that's when I decided that I could, I should, I should do this. I have family and friends that drive trucks for Publix, and 
They had nothing but great things to say about it, so um, I decided to make that move. I just want to thank Publix for doing this class and helping me onto my career path. I look forward to becoming the best truck driver there is out there for Publix.